A couple days back, I uploaded a great offline legendary farming spot. Now, the same spot can be used to get some great XP gains while playing online also. So you can earn those Guardian tokens recently fixed by Gearbox. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. I'm also giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe to this channel and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. I will be giving a copy away over the weekend so stay tuned. Now I will state, this is mainly for you Zanes out there and I do this because some of the builds the other character classes are capable of more or less can one hit most things in the game, making XP gains on said characters in reality much better than this. Zane though isn't capable of those one hit builds, I mean and yes, while rolling certain modifiers on Mayhem 3 Grave Ward may turn in your favour 1 in every 20, the reality is that's quite rare. And doing this on Zane and trying to solo Grave Ward on Mayhem 3 and killing them every 10 seconds like we do see other classes doing, well that isn't likely to happen. Today I bring you this online XP farm spot though that literally allows you to earn upwards of 4k per shot also giving you guys the perfect Zane build to farm XP right here. Now this spot can be used by other character classes that's no problem at all but I do feel you guys in those OP DPS builds can earn better XP elsewhere. So for Zane, this perfect build works both online to earn that XP and offline to earn those legendaries. Now since Gearbox have fixed the issue with negative tokens, you can farm legendaries offline now without running the risk of going into negative guardian tokens. And this build is perfect for this, it really is. So first, the spot is Ferocious Canopy on Eden 6. Follow the route I take on screen to get here once you've done with your setup and the build. Go on then! So once you are here, head up these stairs and you are welcomed by a Jabba. Now these being a reference to gremlins, these dudes duplicate upon being exposed to water or ice. So if you create the perfect loadout built around cryo, you can literally farm this spot like crazy. I mean, it's literally unlimited. You don't have to keep backing out and loading it back up. It's just ridiculous, people. So with Zane, the build I feel is perfect is the one you see on screen now. It concentrates on dealing cryo damage, helping these guys keep basically duplicating and regening that of your grenades, which also guys, when you throw your grenades at these, they again duplicate. Only using one action skill, obviously though, because you do need those grenades. The Sentinel I chose to use here also drops grenades and shoots that cryo. Now you could have gone with the Digiclone, but he shoots his own weapon. I mean, you can set him up to fire a grenade, but you can set the Sentinel to shoot nothing but cryo and drop grenades. So I think it's the better one to go for to farm this spot. So take a few minutes to copy this build if you plan on using this spot, guys. And like I said, this build is perfect for this farm, both online XP Guardian tokens and offline legendary farming. XP gains wise, I have tested on Mayhem 3. You get 36k XP for killing Grave Ward, which I mean, is a lot. But on Zane, killing him every 10 seconds efficiently isn't really possible. 
Another great XP farming spot is the 4 billies. These give you around 4k XP each but these are much much harder to kill and also it involves you backing in and out and depending on modifiers people these can take you up to 5 minutes to kill. I mean it can be absolutely ridiculous especially when you're doing this on Zane. Now with this spot here killing these gremlins, killing these jabbers, with the right setup you can earn easily up to 4k per shot. So all in all I do think this is a more efficient Zane online XP farm. So give it a try and tell me what you think. The way I was dealing with it was I was using my grenades to duplicate these little dudes. I mean you can use weapons as long as they're cloyal weapons. But I was just using my grenades to allow these to duplicate so I just spam them grenades at them. Then I was using my burning flacker just take them all out. And once you get them grouped up people it's literally 4k 5k per shot. And because these things keep duplicating you just keep shooting and keep earning that XP. And like I said, there are much better means of earning XP across the game. Gravewood being probably the main one, but it isn't really efficient doing it on Zane. I mean, you may have that one decent run where the rolls roll in your favor and it's easy to kill him. But then for the next five or 10 attempts, the rolls will probably be against you and you're going to have a difficult time trying to take him out on Zane. And now the pipe bomb has been nerfed. I mean, there's no, what else can you do? That pipe bomb was our Zane's way to go. That was our XP farming method, the pipe bomb. Now that's completely nerfed and it does nothing but tickle grave ward. I mean, what else can you do? So yeah, guys, try out this spot and let me know what you think. Other great XP farming spots, if that's what you're after, are Proving Grounds and Circle of Slaughter. But they can be a bit of a nuisance trying to matchmake them because matchmaking at the minute seems to be a little bust. But hey guys, do what you gotta do. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.